Sheet metal design and on shape starts with the sheet metal model feature. Inside this part studio are a circuit board mock-up and a block specifying the clearance area required around the PCB for ventilation. Start a new sheet metal model feature. Like other features in Onshape, work from the top down. This feature has three primary options to create a sheet metal part, convert, extrude, and thicken. The first option, convert, creates sheet metal parts for each face of a part or surface, which can subsequently be joined with bends. Click the Convert tab and select the part to convert. Once selected, the sheet metal table and flat view flyout populates with parts. There are six individual sheet metal parts, one for each face of the selected part. The Faces to Exclude field prevents specific faces from being converted to a sheet metal part. The Edges or Cylinders to Bend field combines the generated sheet metal parts that share that edge into one. Select the edges in the desired order to combine the individual components into one sheet metal part. For instance, selecting bends in this order creates a flat pattern that may not be desirable for manufacturing. Clear the input and reselect the edges to change the flat pattern to a more desirable part. Enter a value in the clearance from input field if a gap or offset between the input and sheet metal parts is required. Check include bends to include the bend within the clearance value. By default, convert consumes the input part with the feature. To keep the part, check keep input parts. Under general, input a value for the sheet metal thickness and inner bend radius fields. Check flip direction up to change which side of the sheet metal part faces up in the flat pattern view and on a drawing. Under material, select an option from the bend calculation field. K factor uses the ratio of the neutral axis to the material thickness on a bend. Bend allowance uses the length of the neutral line arc between the tangent points of a bend. Bend deduction uses the difference between the sum of the flange lengths and the initial flat length. If using K factor, set a default bend and rolled value. Under relief, set the minimal gap value. The minimal gap is the smallest gap between the sheet metal edges that define a rip. The corner relief type field sets the standard cutout shape where two bend edges meet. Select from several options. The bend relief type field sets the standard cutout shape created when a bend relief is required. With the parameters set, click Accept to create the converted sheet metal part. The next option, Extrude, creates a sheet metal part by extruding a sketch. Select the Extrude tab and select Sketch Entities or an open sketch from the features list. Like Convert, the sheet metal table and flat view flyout populates with parts created by the feature. Onshape creates bends automatically when two sketch entities touch. Select entities on opposite sides to create a second sheet metal part within the same feature. After selecting the bottom entity, both parts combine. Set the end type to blind and set the depth by dragging the arrow manipulator or input a value. Flip direction or check symmetric to center the extrude about the sketch plane if required. The second end position allows the selection of a different end type and depth. The fields within general, material, and relief stay the same as the convert option. In this example, extrude an arc, select sketch entities, and set parameters appropriately. When extruding arcs, Onshape applies the rolled K factor value. To treat the arc as a bend, activate the arcs to extrude as bends selection box and select the corresponding arc. Bends using a rolled K factor do not display center lines on the flat. With the arcs to extrude as bends option, a center line appears on the flat pattern and the bend table updates accordingly. When creating multiple sheet metal parts in the same part studio, a best practice is to create separate sheet metal model features, one for each part. Separate sheet metal model features create independent flat patterns. This makes managing multiple flat patterns easier. The final option, Thicken, may be used on the faces of parts, surfaces, or sketch regions. Click the Thicken tab and select the closed sketch profile in this example. Choose additional regions to include, then set a thickness. Other parameters are identical to the Convert and Extrude options shown earlier.
except the dialog. In this example, create a sheet metal part by selecting faces instead of a sketch. Click each face or surface required for the sheet metal part. Like past examples, each selected face appears as a unique part inside the flyout. Like the Convert option, select edges where a bend should appear. When finished, click Accept. Both the initial and sheet metal part appear in the parts list. Thicken does not consume the part automatically.